How could the Abyssal Pearl disappear like that? It makes no sense. A few hours ago, we left it in the scrying pool in the main gallery while the members of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces went to deal with other matters of importance. When I returned, I immediately noticed that the Pearl was missing. Yes, that's standard procedure when dealing with an unknown relic. But that just makes the Pearl's disappearance more troubling. Something about this feels... wrong. The Conclave serves as the Order's ruling body. It takes its name from the Eleven Forces of Nature that we revere and follow as part of the Old Ways. The Conclave assists the Right Master with matters of study, policy, and significant research. See what the scrying pool reveals. There's something happening on the beach. It's the Agra. They're invading Arteum. The Pearl. Somehow it was used to summon the Yagra. We need to defend the beach. Wait. Is that a sword? That would be mine. I'm on my way to help. Eventually. The Golden Knight and his sword can wait. The Yagra are our primary concern. The scrying pool revealed that Yagra had invaded our island. They must have somehow used the Abyssal Pearl to open a pathway. We need to get down to the beach and repel the invaders. The Sea Sloat have always been envious of Arteum and its secrets. From the beach, they can reach the ruins of the College of Sigix, where we store relics and other items of arcane significance. If the Sea Sloat acquire any of those artifacts... That's a mystery we can solve after we deal with the immediate problem. We need to get down to the beach, destroy the Pearl, and close the Yagra's portal. Will you aid me in these endeavors? Follow the right, Master. I'll portal myself and meet you there. My word! The vision sh Let me accompany you. You need to rally the others. Your friend and I should be able to handle this. We can reach the beach through this section of the old college. Hurry, this way. Before we charge into certain danger, you need to know something isn't right. I remember defeating Katora, but somehow the creature and its cabal have returned. And the Pearl. I have a vague memory of moving it myself. I am... unsettled. That's just it. The vague memory. It feels as though it belongs to someone else. 
Forgive me. We can worry about that later. Now we need to find the Abyssal Pearl and cut off its connection to Arteum. Only then can we stop the flow of Yagra. Very good. After the Pearl is destroyed, we need to search the vaults and make sure none of the creatures breached the defenses. I tried to examine the area through the scrying pool, but something blocked my efforts. Are you ready to proceed? the pearl. Destroy it and close that portal. Now let's go check on the vaults. These ancient vaults house relics of great power and unusual nature. I sense... Yes, Katora is here. Be on your guard, friend of Valserin. The Sea Sloat, or one of its agents. I have a strange feeling, so be on your guard. I can think of a number of likely candidates including a few relics we believe originated in the ancient sea slope kingdom of Ulverkus. Let's get to the central rotunda and begin our search there. Mafala's Daedra! They sealed the chamber! We'll need to go through them. Seal this place, mortal flea! Huh? Ah! so we can enter the rotunda. Another Daedric intrusion? My apologies. Daedric interference and Arteum's own defenses delayed my arrival. Mafala's webs? Oh, I hate those things! Allow me. Found me again. I'll return when I can. A champion of Meridia? At least he was helpful. Good 
Scorer? You remember exactly what I want you to remember. And thanks to the orbs of Brock and Drell, your deepest memories will be mine. Black one, this does not concern the likes of you. Out here, quickly. We need to hurry if we're going to help the Rite Master. It's a good thing I followed you after I alerted the rest of the Conclave. I think I can counteract Keturah's mind magic, but I'll need your help. Keturah is using the power of the Orbs of Barakandrel to enhance his mind magic and lock the Right Master in a mental grip. From what I can discern, the Sea Slode is flipping through his memories as you or I would turn the pages of a book. An ancient implement. Three matched orbs that our Relic Master believes originated in the Sea of Pearls. We long suspected they were connected to the Sea Slode. Keturah thinks the power of the Relic will keep us from interfering. But I have an idea. Take this Ward Key. It will disable the protections on the repositories so you can locate the Ulvor Staff and bring it to me. I can use the staff to breach the barrier and aid the Right Master. Just watch out for any lingering Yagra. Your struggles, your memories belong to Katora now.
We're running out of time. Whatever the Sea Sloat searches for in the Right Master's mind, I believe it is close to finding it. Have you brought me the Ulvor staff? Excellent. And it appears to be in perfect condition. With the staff, I'm certain I can pierce the barrier and open a path to the Mindscape, where the Right Master struggles against Ketora. Not we. You. I need to remain here to anchor you to the physical world. And you're going into Ketora's mind. We'll use the connection between them to put you where you can actually hurt the Sea Slode within its own mindscape. Ketora's mindscape is the perfect place to hurt the Sea Slode. It's where he's most vulnerable. In a place where thoughts become reality, you'll be able to stop Ketora once and for all. Now touch the staff and go save the Right Master. Touch the Ulvor staff and enter the Mindscape. To my domain, worm! Vanquish the Guardians to reveal each protected memory. You'll weaken Katura and learn something at the same time. Is a bargain. The island for the heart of transparent law. Yes, yes, just as we agreed. But only a portion of the crystal. We don't want to alert the Sapiarchs too soon. Tell your fellow princes all will be well. The right master is no match for my mind magic. So Nocturnal has assured me. Don't disappoint us, Katora. For one purpose, worm. Your abyssal cabal may defeat me, but you'll never stand against the entire Sigic Order. Once again, you fail to grasp the obvious. When the time is right, you will do exactly as I command. Until then, forget.
You shall be eradicated. Forgotten. Transparent law. Yes. Yes. Hide it away until I call for you to give it to me. Not even the princes must know where it is. Hide the heart. My memory shields! You destroyed them! Crushing weight of your own insignificance.
Nightmaster back to his study. You need to get out of there. Use the staff to exit. He slowed. Interesting. I haven't dissected such a specimen in an exceedingly long unit of temporal measurement. Valserin took the right master to Kapora Tower to administer to his wounds. Luckily for you, I arrived in time to help Valserin open a path out of the slowed's dying mine. What did you learn before the mindscape collapsed? Yes, I surmised as much. The triad of Daedric Princes has become bold in its attempts to influence Nern, though influence seems to be the least of their goals. The Slowed, however, was unable to harvest whatever memory it sought from the Right Master. That revelation disturbs me. I feared the Crystal Tower was too tempting a target for the Daedra Triad. I need to ponder the full implications of their plot. Meanwhile, I suggest you go to Kapura Tower and see how the Right Master is faring.
wish, right master. I shall travel to Lilandril immediately. And I'll send word to the Eye of the Queen. I owe you a debt of gratitude, friend of Valserin. What the two of you did to help me, that was a step beyond. Thank you. And it seems you accomplished what I failed to do. You ended the threat of Katora. Katora tricked me in the past, made me remember a victory I never won. Then he planted a compulsion, forced me to steal the heart of transparent law from the Crystal Tower. Apparently I hid it and forgot about it. He sought that memory. The Crystal Tower stands as a mystical protection for Somerset. Transparent law, a crystal at the top of the tower, serves as its source of power. With the heart removed from the crystal, the protection provided by the tower slowly weakens. Yes, a smaller gem that had been embedded in the larger crystal. If the Daedric Princes acquire the heart, they could take control of the crystal tower. Valserin and Oriandra will warn Somerset, while I try to remember where I hid the heart. You helped me remember my true encounter with Katora and his Abyssal Cabal. I remember how they defeated me 300 years ago, compelled me to do their bidding, made me forget. For now, I need solitude to seek the memories that still elude me. You helped me remember my... Perhaps the Sigic Sages can help me remember where I hid the heart of transparent law. At least you stopped Katora before the Sea Slow gained that knowledge. In the meantime, we must warn the Sapiarchs of the threat to the Crystal Tower. The Sapiarchs are Somerset's foremost scholars. They are the keepers of the Crystal Tower and the custodians of the College of Sapiarchs. Among their many responsibilities, they have trained every heir who ever sat upon Eleanor's throne. I sent Valserin to Lalandral, where the College of Sapiarchs is located, to scout the area and see if the Court of Bedlam has made any moves against them. I need you to travel to Eleanor to secure the Proxy Queen's permission to enter the College. My actions have weakened the Crystal Tower and endangered Somerset. I hate to think what else that foul creature forced me to do with its powerful mind magic. Forgive my musings. I'll send word to Eleanor so that the Proxy Queen knows to expect you. While we have never been formally introduced, the Proxy Queen is quite familiar with the reputation of the Sigic Order and its Right Master. She will adhere to the ancient dictates and provide the assistance we need in this matter. No. I doubt Katora's magic could reach to Arteum once I removed it from the world. I think that's why I hid the island. A sort of preservation instinct. If not for the Abyssal Pearl, Katora would never have been able to exert its influence again. I sent Valserin to Lalandral to scout the area around the College of Sapiarchs. She'll meet you there once you get the Proxy Queen's permission. As for Oriandra, I sent her to warn Razumdar, the Eye of the Queen. He needs to be informed. Queen Iren's regent while she's away. Proxy Queen Alwyn Arwe oversees the governance of Somerset from the Royal Palace in Alinor. I've never met her, but all reports indicate she's fair, if a bit set in her ways. The Sapiarchs are the sages of Somerset, a college of scholars and... The Sapiarchs serve as the curators of... 